Hello everybody, Dawn here again, and we're pretty much right where we left off. Although, I've uh, attached a few more bits and bobs to the side of the rover. Uh, I was contemplating whether I could, like, maybe safely take that thing down, but uh, we'll come back for that. Get back to the base. We still got eh, a little under two kilometers to go. We're going to do this kind of in first person for the most part, but kind of toggle between as needed. Right now we'll toggle back. On the downslope we'll go first. And then I think what I'm going to have to do is when I get back to the base is just um, select all the mag plates and just drop everything. And hopefully nothing catastrophically explodes. Because <laughs> I've got so many mag plates on this on this rover right now. I don't know which one is which. It's, it's an obscene amount of, amount of mag plates. And stuff just haphazardly stuck around. Oh. <sighs> If I don't clang out at some point, it will shock me. And I'm not sure really what I'm going to focus on after I get this stuff back. Um, might work on designing a trailer. Because I do need something for that. Oh yeah, I got to get the... I got to redesign the rover so I can get the storage bin on there. Um, that's priority one. Well, priority one is offloading the rover. Um... Because if I don't do that, then it's going to make redesigning it really, really difficult. And then we got to get the tower, the wind turbine. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go around the side here. Got to fix that terrain at some point. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet. But we want to get the stuff over here. Okay. Probably f first thing I should do is get the thing off the crane. Send you out a bit. Uh, to drop you down. Yeah, that should be good enough. And now we'll kind of stow this thing. Back in the center. Center. Back down. Okay. Come out of that. There we go. Wheel lock is on. Uh, now, let's just go into mag plates. We want everything that's not the crane magnetic plate. Oh my god. So much on here. Auto lock off. Unlock. And then don't move the rover yet. 
Okay, let's make a stack of batteries. One. Partial. So I'll say that's three and a half. <laughs> three and a carcass. Grab you. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And are these all mine? Uh, that's my faction. That's my faction. Have I hacked all of these already? Yes, I've hacked all those. Nobody owns that one, and nobody owns that one. Okay, so the two that need repairing... Ooh, and I still have one here. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, three. We have six there. Uh, why did that not... Super confused by this. What are you stuck on? Some of these mag plates off, I guess. Okay, so we have three partials. Another partial, so we have four partials with no power cells in any of those. Get the beacon over here. Got the programmable block there. Air vent. Uh, and then what was this? Inset light. Okay. Not sure what I'm going to do with the inset light. And then we have a survival kit that needs two more med components. Uh, just stick you there. Okay, and then we have this big beast. Get that off of there. Got to get these things off the sides. Uh, uh. You off. Nice having them when I need to stick stuff on, but if, I, if I'm not sticking anything on right now, it's just going to get in my way.
Spear of Mag Plates, I think. Now if we come in here, Magnetic Plate... Uh, Mag Plate 10. We still will have one on the back. Oh, right there. Okay, now we need to get everything out of here. You get this thing fully unloaded. So that way we can rearrange the rover. We actually have kind of a decent amount of supplies now. Texture on that thing was just popping in and out. Uh, oof. That box is actually starting to get full. Okay. Um, we need to take out. There's that. And then you need to come up here. Can I squeeze this thing in without like actually tearing apart my whole rover? thing up at here maybe I think that's it for the orientation mm, not What are you getting stuck on? <sighs> really didn't want to have to take out those small ones. But I think I'm going to have to. At least that and that. Don't. I can't take that out. Uh, small container. Still has stuff in it. Oh, come on. Get up there. Bounced me off. Get this deposited. This is going to be a bigger ordeal than I thought it was. Be 
that should be allowing me to pull from, but it's not. Um, so apparently the items are too big to go through those ductings. Now I'm going to have to set park back up. Crap. Uh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Might just need to use weld plates on that. Space Engineers without the jetpack is really a difficult parkour challenge. Because even after all these years, they have not fixed being able to move in appropriate manner. You need to come forward, and then we need to merge block you before anything else happens. Uh, small block. Small tubes. All components successfully withdrawn. Let me back up. Okay, connected. There's that, and then I think I need to do a connector collar. That's a collector. Uh, do I conveyor? That's what I need. Uh, conveyor junction. That's what I need. Okay, now that should be piped all the way through. And then, except for this, where's that one small container? So like, I could put stuff into... Okay, so docking is not... But connector 3 is connected. So I've got... Okay. Yeah, I can't take it right of that. Take all 
all that stuff out. Um, bum -ba -dum -dum. Now, I've got to get my crane back up here. This is gonna suck. Um, I need to have it in this line, and I think I had it there. Get some seal plate in. Uh, I don't need that much steel plate. Extras of those. I have an extra torch. I don't need the basic torch. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just jump over where I'm trying to get to. What I'm trying to do is one there, one there. One there. So that's going to go right there. And then I want to kind of get it so it will rest on here. That's the goal at least. Oh, come on. Can I even pick this thing up? Uh, uh, too heavy. Dang it. Uh, I'm going to need a crane to pick up my busted crane. <sighs> Crap. Um, okay. Well, I think we're just going to have to rebuild it. <sighs> Is there anything else I want to move around? Um... Is it moving, or is the rover moving? I think it's moving. Uh, I probably want to have it... Okay, let's clear some of this stuff out of here. Uh, we need a rotor. We need piston. We need hinge. Hinge, and then we needed mag plate. And this was everything we needed. Uh, where was zero on this thing? Okay, that's zero. How many blocks do we have here? 
Uh, from the cab, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, I've lost count already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen or sixteen. Uh, so one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. There needs to go here. Build you. Hinge. Spin that way. We had a hinge there. And then we had piston. Uh, and we had it going to the back. Right? Was it to the back? Why are you spinning around? Can you stop that? Yes, I know I need to rotor lock you. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, rotor. You're going to be called... Brain Base. And you need that all the way up. You need that all the way up. Uh, lower limited, unlimited, unlimited. That sh should be no longer. I think I might still be able to push it, but it should have the braking torque on now. And then hinge. You are train base hinge. Torque all the way up. Braking torque all the way up. Limits are fine. And then the piston is brain lower arm one. Yep, that's fine. You let's get the next piston on there. Let's start grinding this thing down. Because this will give me the materials back that I need to actually uh, put this thing together. Uh, 
And I want to build this incrementally so I remember kind of how I did it. <sighs> Gotta love it when it bounces you backwards. How my short stuff? And literally ground it back down from the... Weird. Okay, uh, and then we're going to call this... Brain Lower Arm 2. Now we need... Hinge? That way? Right. That's just the hinge part. Hinge. Need the full hinge. And full hinge. Oh yeah, and I had a rotor on the end for the for the hand. I remember now. Go in here. one are you? Your brain, elbow, lower? You are brain, elbow, upper? Do like that. Guys, all incomplete. Why am I missing part of the other hinge? Okay, you're complete now.
Okay, you should be all together now. Why is the ground lock part of park? Hmm. Rain. You need to be arc. Rain base, rain base hinge, crane elbow lower, crane lower arm, lower arm. Okay, programmable block. Um, recompile. Okay, there's that. Now we need to do brain base hinge, custom data. I had as main. Uh, minus four and four. Ugh. Crane. Lower arm. We have forward. Point five. Backwards. Minus 0.5 because they move as a set. Point 0.5 minus point 0.5. Now, if we go back to the programmable block and we recompile. missing here. Rain base. Oh. What did I what did I set that to? Uh programmable lock, no. Oh I think I did the hinge. Yeah. Zero. Zero. That's not what I want. <laughs> Uh, I want the crane base. I want the rotor moving left and right. Four. Go back into the programmable block. This is super complicated. Now we're going to get this thing to the front. And I can do that again. And we have the braking torque. Now... Uh, the elbow lower... Custom data elbow... I wanted... How did I do this? I don't remember how I did that. Um, I think it was two minus two on the lower
Yeah, that goes there. And then on the upper, we had... Go back to custom data. Then on the elbow, we had left, minus two, right two. Uh, where to go? Programmable block. We're just trying to do this in steps. Yep. So now if I want to extend both at the same time, if I want to retract both at the same time, I do need to lift this up a smidge. Okay. Now we need to put our last two pistons on there. Piston. Piston. And then we had rotor. Uh, and you needed to be zero up, just for the sake of my sanity. And then you go there. And I should, theoretically, be able to weld all of this up. Unless I've lost materials somewhere. Okay. Back in the cockpit. Now, we have... Pistons. So this is rain upper one, rain upper one, rain arm upper two. Okay. Now we need to go add those to park. Oh, this is brain wrist. Now we go back to park. We add you, you, and you. Save. Programmable block. Recompile. Go. Now we have crane upper one. And if we go to upper forward, point five minus point five. And we make sure we're in upper again. 0.5. Minus 0.5. Now we go to wrist. We want to make sure that we have our braking torques all the way up. Go to custom data. And then on wrist, I had two... Minus two. And two. I was not planning to have to rebuild all of this. And programmable block. Recompile. Go into here. So we have left and right. We have extend, retract. Bring that out, bring it down, three, we can extend. Four, let's retract this down. Let's 
Yeah, that's that's a little slow. And then we need bag plate. Um, magnetic plate. This is brain hand. Uh, where was that? Brain hand goes there. Switch lock. Now, if we want to fully test this. Make sure it works as advertised. Put you there. Um, three extends. Okay, that's what I don't want. That's why we test this. Uh, crane and we do not want to have auto lock. We do not want to have used for parking. But we can lift it and I'm not going to lift it too much because we are not locked to the ground. Bring you back, retract, center. Because if I have it on auto lock, it's going to destroy itself. Because it's going to try to lock to the hinge underneath it. And then really, really bad things happen. Phantom forces go wild. We do not want that. Okay, crane is rebuilt. We have a cargo box on the rover. <sighs> okay. That was not what I had planned for tonight. I should probably at least go back and grab the... the turbine. Get it over here at the bare minimum. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it up high, um, rotate it and bring it down, and then grind all the weird little tube bits off that are, like, half of them are wheels. Uh, which, yeah, from an from a aesthetic standpoint, looks cool, but eh, I want to have steel blocks. Ooh. I gotta go see what that was. But I've already got a marker on the wind turbine. I think that was kind of this way. Didn't didn't quite pay attention to the bearing good enough. Better question is, what was it? Uh, 
I don't see anything over here. <sighs> Dawn squirreling. It's what I do. see anything. No, we're not there yet, but I figured I would have seen something on the in the distance. But at least say I'm going the right direction. And I'm resisting every urge to turn my speed limit up. I think keeping my speed limit as low as it is, is the only reason I haven't, uh, like, completely destroyed my rover yet. So, I'm going to keep the speed that it is, because it's keeping me mostly safe. I've had a few gyro saves, but uh, nothing, nothing major. I think I got my bearing wrong. It's hard to actually get a directionality on where to go because the by the time you realize or by the time I realize that a new thing has spawned in, it's usually way off to my side or behind me and I can't snap my view around quick enough. And when you snap your view around, it doesn't change the compass. It wasn't that. I've already been here. I'm fairly certain it wasn't that. Might have been. <sighs> now we could kind of start heading back to that crane. I mean, that's, that's a ways out there. We got two days of power. Because there could be something really good in that crane. That was one of the first things I found that I drove for quite a while looking for the uh, wind turbines. And I was too scared to go up it. Uh, we'll we'll kind of go, we'll kind of go to where we haven't been yet. Not sure if that's something new or if that's something that's been there before. I don't think they rebroadcast. Oh, yeah, I forgot one thing. With the. Uh, let me do all of my park components. We need to uh, 
God have you. Share inertial tensors. There we go. I just noticed that it was jiggling around on me. That stops the, uh, the jiggling. Oop. I see something over here. Looks like it's just a um, high voltage uh, power transmission tower. There could be something at the base of it. Or it could just be just a chunk of blocks. We won't know until we get there. I think there's actually two of them up there. One a little farther up on the hill. That is why I'm keeping the speed limit where it is. Because if I was going faster, that would have been bad. I'm getting just enough air where it's kind of fun to tool around, but not enough where it's... Ooh, that's a helicopter. Not enough where it's getting super dangerous. Um... see anything of importance on the tower itself. This helicopter looks interesting. Uh, random one by one wheel. Ooh. This had a V had a vehicle inside of it. Interesting. I wonder if it was supposed to spawn like that. seem to have anything in you. Got some wheels. Beam blocks. Event controller inset light. Timer block? Event controller. Ooh, another programmable block. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of you. Custom turret controller. Interesting. <gasps> and a plushie. Please tell me I got that. Uh, is that the plushie I already had? Timer block. Now, I got plenty of air vents back at the base already. This I want... I want spares of these. Spares of those are super important. Custom turret control. I don't even know what I would do with that. Yeah. 
Looks like I need that. That's just light armor blocks. Uh, I mean, you don't even have a control seat. Okay. Uh, mag plate. And then we'll go check over by the other tower. It was just around the corner over here. We gotta take the long way. Uh, if I had a bigger crane, uh, I'd think about taking that entire chopper back. But I'm gonna resist the urge to. Mostly just steel blocks. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. It just looks like it's a tower. Okay. Well, that was an interesting little diversion. I think it's going to have to kind of end here out in the middle of nowhere on our way to uh, on our way back to that crane. I think that was the first episode uh, where I was salvaging the, the, uh, the big bucket loader. Yeah, we got the uh, pretty sure we got the gyro set up in that one. We will uh, we'll see you guys back for the next episode.